Hey guys, this is Kevin from jazzham.com and today we'll be reviewing two Rolex watches. On my left we have the Rolex Daytona reference number 116518 versus the Rolex Yachtmaster 40 reference 116655. We'll be going over the price, the dial, bezel, case, crown, strap, clasp, and we'll talk about the movements towards the end of the video. Okay, so as of 28, uh, May 2018, you can get these watches from authorized Rolex retailers. Uh, for the Daytona, you're looking at a retail value of $27,500 plus tax. Versus the Yachtmaster, uh, Yachtmaster 40s, uh, $24,950 plus tax. Of course, here at jazztime.com, we have always strive to have the lowest prices anywhere online. So give our website a thorough look through for the most up-to-date pricings for these watches. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into the dials now. So you can see two, two very different dial styles. The Daytona obviously being a chronograph watch has a, a chronograph, uh, chronograph style dial, which has uh, three small sub dials in black. As you can see, the, tw the nine o'clock position is a 12 hour, six o'clock position is the 60 seconds, and the three o'clock position is the 30 minutes and that tracks the elapsed, uh, elapsed time for the stopwatch function on the chronograph watch, on the chronograph watch. whereas the Yacht Master is just a very simple uh, sports style dial that's typical of Rolex sports pieces such as the Submariner, Deep Sea, Sea Dweller, uh, Explorer 2 and such. And, uh, additionally, we have the date at the three o'clock position with a Cyclops lens on top of that sapphire crystal for magnification, easy viewing of that date. For the, dial, uh, for the dial styles, however, for the colors, uh, for Daytona, we have the champagne color. If you're not interested in the champagne color, it also comes in a black or white dial. Also, if you're feeling a little more luxurious, you can get the, the same Daytona with uh, diamond hour markers instead of these index hour markers with uh, mother of pearl, black, or champagne dial color. For the Yachtmaster 40, you're only able to get this in, these, in this sort of matte black style dial. Um, besides that, they have a very luxurious, uh, rather extremely luxurious edition for the Yachtmaster, which has a diamond pave dial, so the whole dial is covered in diamonds. The hour markers are left the same, they're nicely highly, uh, they are luminescent with a highly legible chroma light display with long lasting blue luminescence. The hour, the hour marker is all fashioned in 18 karat uh, rose gold or how Rolex likes to call it, Ever Rose Gold, which is their in-house made rose gold. Uh, the difference between the Rolex in-house made rose gold compared to other companies' rose gold is that while, while it's not as red as other companies, they did mix in a different type of, uh, different type of metal mixture and that mixture has platinum added into it along with the copper. So what that does is that it, this, um, this red is this red rose gold. You'll be able to see this color throughout its lifetime, as it won't fade over time because of that platinum mixture that Rolex has done. And that's why they refer to it as the Ever Rose Gold. Whereas the Daytona, instead we have yellow, uh, 18 karat yellow gold, just a standard yellow gold. Okay. Besides that, did forget to mention that the index hour markers for the Daytona are luminescent as well. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a smaller luminescence compared to the large maxi, maxi dial style hour markers that the Yachtmaster has. We have the Rolex name at the 12 o'clock position. However, the Daytona has a landmark of the Rolex Crown logo for the 12 o'clock position, whereas the uh, 12 o'clock position landmark is just the simple triangular hour marker. Uh, speaking of landmarks, for the triangular 12 o'clock marker, it's matched with the 9 o'clock position index and the 6 o'clock position index as well, and that helps uh, helps uh, with reading of the time at a quick glance. Additionally, the hands are different style hands as well. For the Daytona, we just have very slim, uh, slim yellow gold hands, index style, as you can see with the luminosity on the tips. Also, in the center of each of the hand, you can see sort of a little black, uh, black sliver uh, down the center of each hand, the hour and the minute hand, and that allows for easier viewing uh, during the daytime. For the Rolex, uh, the Yachtmaster, we have Mercedes style hands, which is the hour hand in this circular Mercedes style logo shaped, with the minute hand having a much thicker minute hand as well, 
uh, with the luminosity going from the tip all the way to the center. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the bezel now. The bezel, different style bezels as well. Uh, the Daytona has just a simple fixed black monoblock serochrome bezel in ceramic with engraved uh, tachometer scale. As you can see, scale is nicely uh, nicely in that 18 karat yellow gold to match the overall aesthetic of the watch. So that champagne dial, the yellow gold casing, um, the yellow gold hands as well. The serochrome, the serochrome is what looks as fancy way of saying it's a ceramic bezel, uh, as I mentioned. So the ceramic bezel highly scratch, res highly scratch resistant, and has a overall nice, sh nicer shine to the face of the watch that matches very beautifully with the lugs of the watch. As you can see, it's, it's very reflective and nicely, uh, very high polished, uh, and that matches with the high polish on the lugs of the case. You can see a nice high polish on the lugs of the case. Both of, the, both of these watches are um, sports watches, but they're more of a hybrid between a sports watch and a uh, sports watch and a dress watch. As typically for Rolex sports piece, sports watches have uh, nice sand finishes on the on the case and smaller use of the high polish elsewhere. Whereas for more of a hybrid scent, uh, more of a hybrid casing, uh, we have the high polish on the lugs and high polish. Uh, used more throughout the watch as well. For the Yacht Master, we're looking at a, for the bezel, we're looking at a matte black um, bi-directional rotatable 60 minute graduated bezel uh, with the, as I said, the matte black serochrome insert in ceramic, polish and raised numerals and uh, graduations as well. So you can see that the numerals are high, uh, nicely high polished and more reflective. You can see a very nice contrast between that high polish and that matte black. And of course, once again, that also matches with that color of the of the dial. The dial is a matte black as well, and overall fits with the theme of the the strap as well. Okay, moving on to the case size now. So for the casing. For the Daytona, we have a <clears throat> we have a 40, milli 40 millimeter case size. Uh, of course, all in 18 karat yellow gold. Nice high polish as I high polish on the lugs as I've mentioned with with the bezel. The Yacht Master 40, same size case as well, 40 millimeter style case with the 18 karat ever rose gold again. Crown protectors additionally are also nicely high polished. For the thicknesses of the watch, turn it over to the side here. See, the Daytona is going to be a little bit thicker overall, mainly because it is a chronograph movement. The movement, um, the movement has additional complications, so it will have a larger style, larger size movement. So it makes it a little bit larger than the Yacht Master Forty. On the other side. Nice high polish on these sides on this side as well. Rolex crown logo on the crowns themselves. Of course, two additional chrono pushers at the two o'clock and four o'clock position for the Daytona for the stopwatch feature of the chronograph. With that said, let's go ahead and move on to the crown now. So the crown functions, we'll start with the Daytona first. Very simple uh, screw down, trip lock waterproofness system. Simply unwinds counterclockwise as shown. In a standard position, you can wind the watch from a dead stop. About 15 to 20 winds is all you need to get the watch started once more. Tugging the crown out will set you into the only other position that the crown can be in, and that allows for setting the time. And of course, stopping of the second hand at the six o'clock second sub dial for precise time setting, such as to an atomic clock online, you can set it down to the exact seconds. Screwing the crown back in, very important as you want to keep your watch nice and protected for the water resistance of the Daytona, which is 100 meters or 330 feet. Coral pushers, as I mentioned, located two o'clock and four o'clock position. Two o'clock position just simply unwinds as so. Pressing on starts it. Unwind the bottom. Pressing that two o'clock pusher again stops stops it, and the four o'clock resets. <clears throat> the four o'clock resets that. Uh, central second hand back to the 12 o'clock position position along with the uh, 30 minute elapsed time and the 12 hour elapsed time as well. Same thing as with the crown, always make sure 
Even the chrono pushers are screwed in nice and tight to keep that water, water resistance. Okay. For the Yaw Master, similar, similar crown functions. Uh, so once again, counterclockwise. Same in this standard position, as I said, uh, 15 to 20, 20 winds is all you need to get the watch started once more. And the next position allows you to adjust the date. Give me one second here. There we are, instantaneous changing of the date just by simply going clockwise. Final position, setting, setting of the time. Same thing with the precise time setting, seconds hand will stop, allowing you to set the time down to the exact seconds. Of course, once again, screw the crown in tight, nice and against the case. Has the same water resistance as the Daytona, which is 100 meters or 330 feet. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the straps now. Same style strap, this is a newly, uh, newly released style strap. Uh, well, not newly, it was introduced back in 2017 with the Rolex Yacht Master, the one, uh, the one on my right. The strap is a Oyster Flex strap. What that means is a super elastic metal blade over molded with a high performance black elastomere. It has high, uh, high environmental resistance, so very nice durability overall. The inner parts of the inner part of the strap is raised to allow nice airflow to the wrist, so it doesn't um, so your wrist doesn't get too sweaty. Also, it helps with the uh, helps with the curvature of the wrist as well, so it helps the watch sit nice, uh, nice and flat against the wrist, and prevents it from moving around. Okay. For the for the sizing of the strap, the Oyster Flex uh, only comes in uh, comes in a standard uh, standard size unless indicated. So if you're buying it from authorized retail, a retailer, be sure to make sure you're getting the right size strap from you. Um, there is a there is a strap chart that you can look up, uh, and it should tell and it'll tell you the exact dimensions of each strap. Besides that, the class is a sported style class with the um, Safety folding, safety folding oyster lock. What that means is it's just simply there's a little lock on top of that folding oyster that opens up as so. Same thing for the Yacht Master here. Opens up as so to reveal these nicely high polished class blades. Of course, with the Daytona here on my left, it is an eight, a fully 18 karat yellow gold. And on the Yacht Master, in 18 karat rose gold. Okay, so let me show you that closed up once more. And there we are. Same size, same style of class, just different material. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the movement now. We'll start with the Daytonas first. So the, Daytona, the Daytona's movement is housed in this simple oyster case backing. It is Rolex's in-house made chronograph movement. It's a perpetual mechanical self-winding movement. It's the 4130. It's a precision within Swiss specs, which is minus two plus two seconds a day. It has the functions of the central hour, minute, and seconds hand, along with the three subdials, and the functions of the stopwatch feature, which is the chronograph pushers that I mentioned with the crown functions that I've shown you and also the stopping of the seconds hand for precise time setting. The oscillator is a paramagnetic blue parachrome hairspring and the power reserve of the movement. You're looking at a 72 hour power reserve, meaning you can put this watch down on a Friday evening, pick it, up, pick it back up on a Monday afternoon and it'll be keeping time just fine. The Yacht Master uses Rolex's standard sports movement, which is a 3135 movement in house made movement. Of course, also perpetual mechanical self winding. And it's used in other sports pieces such as, once again, Submariner, Deep Sea, Sea Dwellers, Explorer, uh, yeah, and Explorer 2. The precision within Swiss specs as well, minus two plus two seconds a day, has the functions of the central hour, minute, and seconds hand, along with the instantaneous changing of the day of the even with the crown function as well. Same style oscillator, which is a paramagnet blue, uh, blue perichrome hairspring, which allows for resistance against magnetism. 
Uh, power reserve is a little bit smaller than the chronograph, the chronograph movement, which is a 72 hour power reserve. This, the 3135's power reserve is a 48 hour power reserve. Meaning you can put this watch down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Sunday afternoon, and it'll be keeping time just fine. All right, now let me actually go ahead and show you these watches on my wrist now. So we'll go ahead and start off with the Daytona's first. So once again, locate that safety folding oyster, safety off, folding open. Okay, there's the Daytona on the wrist. Absolutely gorgeous champagne dial matching with the yellow gold on the contrasting black bezel and also beautiful high polish just throughout the whole casing of the watch. So you can see that Oyster Flex strap sits very nicely on my wrist. Just it looks absolutely gorgeous and uh, matching with the um, black ceramic bezel as well. And for the Yacht Master, same thing. Find that safety folding oyster, opens up. Slides on as so. And there's the Yacht Master 40. Absolutely beautiful rose gold. That matte black is definitely very, very unique to this watch. It helps with the contrast on the bezel and it makes it appear much, much more nicely. Fits with that overall theme of the Oyster Flex bracelet, that same sort of black tone. The rose gold, absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. Okay. So if you're interested in either one of these watches for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazztime.com. The lowest price is guaranteed. We offer a one-year uh, one warranty. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.